it's me, Mr. Mario, and yes, today I'm bringing you another unbroken tutorial for Xbox 360 drives. This is for BinQ drives, and I'm going to be showing you how to unbrick a BinQ drive. Now, as I said in my light on tutorial, if you have not recovered your DVD key, unfortunately this will not help you. This will unbrick your drive, but this will not get your DVD key back. If you need your DVD key, key back, you're going to have to reset glitch or JTAG your system. More than likely reset glitch it. Well, now you can RJTAG, but you're going to have to do something like that to get your DVD key back. So this will not help you get your key back. However, if you do have your key on hand, but you bricked your drive, I will show you how to unbrick it. And it's pretty simple. So how do you know if your drive is bricked? Well, if you have everything hooked up properly, just like here, and it says no drive detected, that is how you know your drive is bricked, or if your drive just isn't turning off or on or doing anything like that. So first off, this is what you need to do in Junk Flasher. You need to come over to intro slash device ID, and then just wait for a message to pop up. Now once it brings up this MTK vendor intro fail, this is what you want to do. Uh, if you look at the little picture in picture screen right now, you'll see I have a CK3 light hooked up. If you're using an Xbox 360 as your main power source, you want to unplug it from the power and plug it in real quick when you do this. But for me, I'm just going to flip my switch. So this is what you want to do. You want to hit yes, and once you hit yes, once you see the periods on screen here, you want to just turn it off and on really quick. And then I'll show you what to do. So we hit yes, and I just flipped it. And as you can see right here, we're ready in vendor mode. So now that you're in vendor mode, you need to flash over a firmware. So what you need to do is you need to come over to your firmware tool 32, you need to come over, and I forgot which one it is, but you're going to have to go through some firmware, so I'm just going to flash over Light Touch 3, it really doesn't matter to be honest, but right here I have Light Touch 3, Bad 6038, that's exactly what I want, and I have no DVD key on here, but that's really not going to make a difference. So what you want to do is you want to come over to MTK Flash 32, and if you do have your DVD key, go ahead and feel free to put it in there, but I don't have a DVD key on here, so I don't care. But what you want to do is come back to MTK Flash, hit right. Since I didn't spoof my target, go ahead, hit yes. It's going to erase the chipset and flash it over real quick. Alright, so as you can see, right verified OK. Now what you want to do is hit AT outro slash ATA reset, and once it does that, bam, there we go, vendor. PBDS bad 6038. Congratulations, you've just unbricked your light on drive. Well, not light on, my bad. BinQ, I just did the light on. This is just coming right off that tutorial. But if I helped you out, um, I don't know, show some love or something. But I love helping out people, and um, if you, I mean, definitely if I helped you out, go ahead and leave a comment or whatever. I'd love to see this. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.